north, south, east, west, the deal. Welcome or welcome back to It's Milk TV. It's Milk Gang. How y'all doing? Y'all already know how it's going to go. Let's go ahead and get our minds right before we get into this. Come on. Look, right now, we about to react to this video of three SoundCloud rappers on No Jumper speaking on how they pulled up to my crib and caught me slipping at my front door. So let's go. We going to see what's the script. Come on. Me coming here, it's about the homie came out of prison, man. Real one. Him, real one. I'm trying to put in a platform to give them a name and a shine on the biggest platform in here you know what i mean it's like the traveling g face show like you don't you don't show up solo you show up with Period. a whole a whole multiple different narratives that can now look even adam throwing shots on the low you know it's like it's the gilligan face show you never come solo he don't go solo now he's trying to tell people you know i'm bringing them here this is what he's telling them i'm bringing y'all here to pitch all on a platform I want y'all to blow up. You know, that ain't the case, bro. He's bringing them on there with him. So the people that don't know him, that don't know the script, can see this for the first time and be like, oh, he must be with the shit. Look who he has with him on there. He has gang members. Like, come. Like, dude. <laughs> I see through you. Brought out at I the always same time. put people before me, man, because at the end of the day, after coming out of prison, I've been only out three years, but whatever people come here to do when they come here to promote their brand, their music, their all that, I've already made it. I'm, there's nothing that I need to... I'm over here trying to shine the light on them. People come here to what? Sell their music, promote their album, and make money, you right? Like the people that came put 10000 on their manager. table, balling. I mean, the house ain't going to start this shit. Oh, shit. Watch, bro. What Boom. the shit, bro? <laughs> Popular. Man. I'm saying, dog, I, we we could do this sh all day. Look, how the f so I mean, it's nothing, dog. We can make. And, and, and by the way, no one's in the middle, right? So the haters don't say nothing. No <laughs> one's in the middle, right? I'm just Let me saying. Get a little chair. That's like some weird, like police activity to me. Like, don't nobody care about that money, G. I don't even know if it's real. Even if it was real, that that I couldn't just be like, oh, you know, you got all this dough. But you was from a different hood in his paperwork with your name on it, bro. But, you know, you got this dough. So I guess we can be bros. Like, no, like not. Now, granted, it is a lot of street individuals that will let stuff slide. They will let violations slide because the individual got a bag, got some dough, is brandishing bags of money, bro. But that don't move me. It don't. Yeah, no one's in the middle. I'm, yeah. I'm all about promoting okay. some real ones, dog. Putting them on the map, bro. It ain't even the. This is valid. Yeah. So I've that's about a... it. Black, Mexican, it don't really matter. You f with me, I'll f with you. I got a lot of haters. So the very few that do f with me, uh -huh. if you by my side, man, if you if I don't get you somewhere, if I don't get you money, if I don't get you no, don't chill around me because it's a waste of time. The way me and him locked in, like, you look at the politics. I went to prison at the age of 15, right? Remember all the was going on with me and OG Cartoon. Shout out to homie Cartoon. Right. Me and his big homie was on a yard beefing, stabbing the f out of each other. Tiny Sika. And look at that. After 15, 17 years, I come out, I'm rocked in with his homie. Like, why? Why would he even sit there and say that? Do you get on a platform and say, yeah, you know him right there who I brought on here? I used to be in there stabbing up his big homie. <laughs> Let's see if the dude say something. With him, you feel me? We were literally Friday, Saturday in his hood, Avalon Gardens, and people that know that in LA, that shit, nothing to play with. with love. I took a blood there. Took the homie Young Magnificent from Hoover. Yeah. Took my homies from the set. We went all in his hood, bro. Eat. It was you all because of he gave us the pass. A lot of people, he'll tell you, wouldn't even pull up where I came through. Really? He even tapped in with me, took all my jewelry, all my whips, in the alley, dead in with the both sides blocked off. You feel me? On some real shit, they respect that, bro. You feel me? Because yeah, I come the correct, carpet, I come the right way. It. For real, for real. Feel me? They looking at that's that, that money. But real ones, though. All that white boy milk, 7-4, that was all that talking <laughs> shit. 
last night on some real I mean, allegedly, the homie pulled up to his apartment last night. Okay, to his yeah. door. You told me this. So what, what's going on? With yeah, this was last night. Last night. Yeah, I even told you. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This so was last night. Because you were talking, you were you were looking for his address or something at a certain point, right? So the reason that happened is because whenever we did this interview, all those shit and T Rail said the stuff about the kid. I got on it and I started cussing out T Rail. That's okay. his homie from his hood. Uh huh. So he did a video like, "Oh, G Face is this, G Face is that. He's no good. He's a hood opera. He's a snitch." He capping already. Gilligan Face first came on my radar when I got sent a clip from No Jumper where it was this individual on there named like Bompton Face Uno or something like that. I guess like some rapper who just got out of jail. And um, they like, man, look at this, man. It's not sounding right the way he describing what he went to jail for. So I'm like, okay, you know, I react to it. Now, when I react to that video, it's Gilligan facing 600 with this dude, uh, Bompton Uno face. That's how this dude came on my radar. So when I reacted to the video of uh, Bompton Uno face on there, you know, we found out that it was paperwork on his name where he, it was paperwork on his name, bro. So that's how this dude even got on my radar because when I did the reaction to that, people was like, oh man, the dude, G face, man, he's a rat. That's what they were saying. So, you know, I had to go do my homework, my due diligence, put them work in, put the work in, put the hours in. And, you know, I found out that it was paperwork with this man's name on it, bro. That's how he came on my radar. That's how he even got on Ishmael TV. It had nothing to do, the stuff with, with T Rail and whatever was said and he replied that's recent in my eyes yeah because what i was saying to t rail okay right but it had nothing to do with their hood it was for the fact that he disrespected a child that's uh -huh. it um so when that happened when we was in his hood we was doing live milk 74 went on his page last night and put a story tagging him said how would you your active crip how would you with somebody that's no good or whatever Pulled up to his house, to his apartment, address, everything. Apologize, I apologize. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm putting. I'll let you tell him. Wait, bro. man, you saw him? Pulled up to his door. To okay. Look how Adam sounded amazed. Wait a minute, you saw him? Man, he don't even believe this cat. Hey, <laughs> so it's allegedly he came to my house last night. Who came to my house, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. House in his apartment. But it's a big ass apartment building. There's like security to stop you, you from getting on the, the door, elevator. Right? You want to know the door code and everything? No, I, I'm, not, sure not not on air, I'm just saying that's what I'm saying though. Like, hey, I'm I'm I'll let you say it, dog. Because I'm not I've trying heard to... about a lot of people pulling up, but I never like very like, few people yeah, have yeah, really yeah. made contact. Can I, it just that feel me, just We did this to the door. He opened yeah, the, I mean yeah, nigga, feel me? They come to you. For for you know, me this shit nigga ain't gonna say too much, but you feel me a nigga. Just uh, he had said something to it. He had said something. He had posted something. He like, how, how street to uh, do something with a rat wolf? Me got her in my comments and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? For me, I seen it. I seen it in the morning. I was halfway asleep because we just had like, come out the studio all night. I went back to sleep. And I said, that's when I seen it. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you feel me? Then I hear bro instantly. Then I hear my nigga Pepsi. Like, who the fuck is this? Nigga? You feel me? Like, oh. And then they like, oh, he a white Hoover. So I tapped on my little brother, little infant. I tapped on him. Like, you know this nigga? Like, he from Hoover. He like, yeah, he from Hoover. Though, you feel me? Get a body, you know. I'm like, all oh, right, it's good. Like, for me, boom. Then I did my own little research on gang. And it now, look, look how they sound. You got him. He's an alleged gang member, a crip. Now, imagine a crip getting mad or something if somebody is letting him know, like, hey, you know, you might need to check the dude you just did a song with because he's a rat. It's paperwork on his name. Now, I never left. A comment on this dude Instagram. Like, I don't even know who he is. He getting on here like he's important in these YouTube streets. And one more thing. I've been hearing a lot of people say YouTube streets and, like, making all these different words. I'm the one that made that popping. But he act like he's somebody in these YouTube streets. It, I think it was a music video. You know, like, the person who shoot the music videos, they uploaded it on their Instagram. Uploaded it. They posted it on their Instagram. And the only reason it caught my eye is because Gilligan's face. 
Then I seen other individuals. I'm like, whoa, maybe these people should want to know that they just did a song with a rap, bro. So I never tagged him. I don't even know this dude. Um, but it's just crazy what somebody can make somebody do. Gilligan faced and made him get on the internet, get on a podcast with millions of subscribers and just cap live. Just cap and lie that they put up to my crib. <laughs> All the slaying I didn't did. A Gilligan catch me at my crib and don't do nothing. Like, it's. <laughs> that shit amazing to me. It's funny. Right, you feel me? Like I, this. And I, you hear me? Then I, yeah. Took everything down. I, I apologize. Down quick, though, he we, opened the door. And we went with his homie, shout out to homie Lil HD from 7-4, the homie that I was just in the county with. This last 2020, we were locked up. We were in the county together. Now, he's saying, and I went to his house with one of his homies named Lil HD, who I was just in the county with. So, a black is taking a South Sider to his homie house. It just don't sound right. I have never heard of a Lil HD. I don't know a Lil HD. Now, granted, possibly it could be a little HD, but don't know little HD know me. Nobody, none of my homies have even been to my crib, homie. So how could you just like what? He took you to my house. He knew where I was at. Like, look how he trying to like lie and just put out these fake narratives. Yeah, let me say that I took one of his homies and people are just going to believe it. Well, why him, the person, little HD, my homie, who took you, a Southsider, to my home. Why he not sitting on this podcast with y'all, bro? Yeah, why he ain't on the camera? I know HD, the homie. Shout out to HD. Um, I don't know no little HD. But you just... So, a black took a Southsider to <coughs> the black <coughs> homie's house for smoke. I think that's an act of treason, bro. <laughs> we were in a studio together with his homie went there. Apologize. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. I'm going to take this down right now. I don't want no problems. Mm. Like I said, I'll say the door code if you want it. I got it on my phone. I no, that's okay. But uh, holy shit. Like, that's crazy. Tap. I mean, He's I, watching I don't even this. know what to say about He's that. He's watching this. Like I said, man, like, you know, man, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a podcaster, man. Mm. I'll give everybody their respect. A lot of people get on this podcast. That's, it's crazy because people really try to like put on these fake images on the internet. Want to be extra out like they 16. Like they just, like you're not even extra out like that. You're really just trying to do this to like prove to the world that they don't even know who you is. You some type of individual, bro. But I don't care about no tattoos. I don't care about what nobody say. You're going to have to show me to my face, like all that. Oh, you know, I want you to believe I'm tough because I'm coming in here with this money and you know, I got a bald head and tattoos. And Adam, you're not from the streets, so you don't know any better, fool. Like, I'm tough to you. <laughs> he kept, So I call him a rat hood hop on the internet. The people that's involved in the streets, they know what happens if you call somebody a rat. The people that's not involved in the street know what happened if you call somebody in the street a rat. I mean, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, bro. But that's what they alleged that happened. Even I believe, even though I believe it's a little deeper than that. Um, I'm not saying I don't kind of believe that, but I believe it's a little deeper than that. But what I'm trying to say, so I called him a rat. He catch me slipping at my home, bro. And he don't do nothing. I don't get whooped. I don't get touched. Don't know camera get pulled out. Don't record no footage. You can't say, oh, people that's doing this type of stuff is not going to record it. No, not him, bro. Not them, Loke. He does this for the camera, bro. It's videos that people send me that I will never post. Because I'm not a, po a police helper, bro. Like, I, I don't do that. But it's weird videos that he didn't post it on the internet, that he didn't set on podcasts, bro. 
And Adam was kind of alluding to it in the beginning of this interview. But it's just certain stuff he didn't say on the internet. So I know his whole intention is clout, bro. So if you really caught me at my slipping, if you really caught me slipping at my house, <laughs> and you didn't do nothing, how would that make you? Like, how would that make you look? Like a Gilligan. And, and, and how does it make you look getting out here lying, bro? There's no way you caught me at my house after I called you a rat, hood hop, you went from AP, uh, Armenian, you to something else. I called you all of that. You catch me at my house and you don't do nothing to me? You don't record a video, G? Hmm? I don't even have a pen code. See, maybe that's how the apartments is on Santa Monica and Western, bro, or somewhere over there, bro. I don't know. And everybody that watched me, the Ishmael TV members, they know I didn't post the key fobs. Ain't no pen code. So it's like, what is he? It's just all cap, bro. It's crazy. But I'm the cloud token. And you mean to tell me you caught me loafing, lacking, slipping? At my crib, and you saying you made me delete videos, and I said I was sorry, and I know what I was doing, and all this. You would have recorded that. <laughs> On his internet by trolling people. A lot of people you'll know by trolling or doing some JCAT. Mm. The reason people know me, man, because I'm out here making money for people, helping people succeed and looking out for the underdog. I never came on this social media <laughs> platform disrespecting anybody, talking shit to anybody, ever. Now, if you're going to talk shit about me, you're not a gang member, you're just doing it for your views or your uh, reactions, I respect it. I've learned, you know what I mean? Sharp mm. has taught me that like, you can't take that personal. Right. The same way I told the homies right here, look, when you get on No Jumper, bro, it's the biggest platform there is after this you're gonna have people make reactions about you mm. videos you gotta oh, have thick skin and not worry about it no jumper, but if you're a gang member you're from the city and you somebody that you claim you are and i know i could get to you i'm gonna do everything i can to touch you but period. okay tell me a little bit more about what milk said at the door because the reason why this fun is really interesting to me is because there was a, a moment that people never really knew about in which one of ad's friends or associates ran into milk and basically pressed him about some videos that he had posted and this is like over a year ago so this is not about <laughs> current right, milk right, right, ad right, right. beef this is about that milk was saying about ad's brother and all that i believe got removed just because they saw milk and basically put the pressure on him he, and told him that he had to delete it he just went on back on fig right i'm thinking right. what what is i have never heard what adam just said in my life I have never, so now somebody, <laughs> somebody in AD camp caught me and, and impressed me about his brother videos. <laughs> oh my God. That's good. Less than a week later, he's talking about every single <laughs> I know. Like like every, uh, less than a week later, you're disrespecting every man in there. Like, yeah, that's yeah. just ridiculous, man. But, I don't understand. But him that. and T Rell aren't dissing each other. I mean, but he's dissing all the other guys. T Rell's all his loyalty to them. I don't I'm know. He's only dissing the Crips. He's not dissing the Hoovers. I'm just gonna say. I'm just saying. In terms it don't of make that no whole sense. operation, it don't make no sense. AD and T Rell are one in my eyes. All them smack. They're one in my eyes because they right. they boys. So I, I I guarantee you, T Rell don't condone that. I don't think a real wouldn't but at the end of the day he will not never show up he will not do he wasn't even opening the door talk had his talking from the back i'm just i don't Wait, know and then, so he was having his girl talk and then he swooped in he and was talking? surprised when people were knocking on the door he thought it was a pizza delivery or a grub hub but he didn't understand <laughs> we have people in there that could open up that man hold on could i read the uh door corner i mean a, we're gonna bleep the bleep it out because that's that's I a never mind, I'm go out there but yeah, yeah, yeah i'm just yeah, saying yeah, man nigga, nigga, we nigga, nigga, yeah nigga, him as my witness i'll what type of pump faking LAPD activity is this? Do you want me to show you the code? Do you want me to tell you the code? Like, you trying to pump, you don't have no code. Now you caught me at, the story is just changing. Like, this is crazy. So you caught me at my door. We opened the door thinking it was food and my girl is right there and I'm behind her. <laughs> why you ain't said that at the beginning? This is why you ain't supposed to tell lies. Because you lie, you lie, 
And you can't even keep up with your lie. You're just lying. <laughs> Videos got deleted off of my channel for a few different reasons. One reason, they wasn't earning no income. Um, They just, I'm not on, they just wasn't earning no income. And then some of them was, it was just like, like let's just say if it's 10 different reactions about Cowboy. 10 different reactions about Cowboy, that's just not going to happen. That got to go. Then some of these other people, like even four or five reaction videos, per, or more, maybe 10 reaction videos that got something to do with the manager, the ex-manager of Crip Mac, Lovejoy, the, the, the dude Lovejoy. Now imagine, that's like 20 videos, bro. Just for no reason. No video. They're not making no money. It's, for what? What are they up for? Nah, they got to go. And then it's just this cloud chasing Gilligan. Really going to come on here and just lie. Like just lie, no proof, no footage. It's crazy. You could just make these type of like accusations. These outlandish claims against me. Adam. It's time to sit down. Face to face. <laughs> uh. I'm going to say much out of respect for the homie, but... He took it down. He's watching this. He, uh -huh. he can make any reaction he wants. He took it down. But did you right respect away. the way that he was communicating? Or did hell you no. feel like some hell, hell He's a bitch. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Hell, hell no. Nah. No way, no hell. No. Nah. Holy shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. I don't respect that. Why would you? Look, man, I understand you, you You do your reaction videos and all that. It's 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 a, I get it. I respect it. But why disrespect another man if you're not going to do nothing about it? That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. If you're just a podcaster doing this, you don't agree with something I'm saying, cool. But... If you, somebody's just watching this right here, man. Ever ever since I've came here, all I've trying to do is get. Last time, shout out to homie G Uno and Six Hundred. Mm -hmm. I brought oh, them. Yeah. Brought them. G Uno. <laughs> this time, Six Hundred Love Joy and bumped in Uno face. He came with them, bro. That was the first time that Gilligan got on my radar. This <laughs> uh, is crazy. Well, homies, right here. I've never came. I could have just been like. Everybody, I'm gonna come put the shine on me. There's mm. nothing out here that I need. I'll f you. I respect you as a man. I come chill with you. And I, he got crazy. He's only been rapping 90 days, and you even said this is hard. No, I thought it was dope for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. My no boy cap. is savage yeah. with the music, so I said, you know what, man? Let me give them a platform. Now, speaking on this, the, the, the dude right there with this blue shirt on. Now, after this clip initially aired, and it got brought to my attention, you know, I'm the Gilligan Slayer. I don't play. Um, <laughs> y'all digged up a lot of skeletons that was deep inside of this individual baby shooty closet, bro. Um, he was a blood, switched, two years, he turned the crib. Um, if you go check my community post on YouTube, you can see it. Or you could go check my Instagram because I'm a, I'm a, I'll probably do a video on it or, um, Yeah, just go look at my Instagram for right now. But it's a video of him getting confronted on a FaceTime call about him participating in a backdoor play about some type of situation where some shit got took, I guess, allegedly, and um, supposedly got caught on camera. I don't know, but he, you know, when confronted, he, man, he started sinking like a canary. Um, He started... Repeating information like a parrot. Uh, yeah, it just, it, it went all sour. It went all bad. And then, <laughs> um, weird picture popped up with him with some bamboo earrings. Like some big, you know, like the, the girl bamboo earrings? Picture of it, bro. But that's out of respect. That's out of person I am. I put other people in front of me. So for other people to see it and say, him or this and that, you gotta be a piece of shit amongst yourself. So when he did start disrespecting me, all I was doing is protecting the child, bro. That's all I was doing as a mm. father, as a, uh, you know what I mean, as a father, as a, who does that to a kid, you know right. what I mean? So he jumped in, wanted to be favoritism, and all oh, they're cool, all of a sudden they're doing videos together, and in my head I'm like, watch, less than a week later they started talking to each other. Mm. But when, you know, you do this, don't open the door, hey man, I, 
it's all good. I respect it. I'm going to take it down. I apologize. I was overstepping boundaries. It will never happen again. That's crazy. Something like that with me will go, go. I mean, that dude would have didn't have so many interviews about that, bro. Like he would have been like making his round really around the YouTube streets. If he would have had that video of some shit like that on me. <laughs> it, it amazes me though, for real. It, it amazes me though that he would just really get on here and sit and cap and lie Say the first time the milk mentioned me was because T Rail them said something about Adam's child. Like, nah, bro. The first time you came on my radar was with the interview with Love Joy and bought bumped in Uno face or whatever the case is. But you never caught me at no house. You never caught me at my house. You can't just walk in my house. Um and then if you did go in my house, so you mean to tell me you just said, like, it, it's crazy, bro. But he never came to my house. Never called me lacking. Nothing like that, bro. It's just Gilligan activity, huh? <laughs> Hold on, quote. Nomi said you got one minute to take that shit on. It was gone. I mean, Look bro, at this page. if, if you story. got a YouTube channel where you talk shit about gang members for a living, you got to really, like, stand on that shit when it comes but, down to it, right? But right. he pulls yeah. up on you, knocks on the door and all that. Hey, like, come on. Adam. Where was you at when them people pulled up like 74 deep at your studio? Huh? Or what about the other time? Or what about the time when I came to your studio, bro? Not to do nothing wild and outlandish, but just for me and you to conversate, bro. And you ran in that bathroom and closed the door. So didn't you just say if you have a YouTube channel and you're talking about gang member, you can't be scared or something? I'm not scared. Nobody came to my door. When I came to your door, I knew where you was at and I proved it. I had proof. I just didn't say, oh, I went here and whatever happened. Uh-uh. No. Oh, man. I ain't doing no rap beef. You feel me? He ain't doing no rap beef. You feel me? It is... That's straight up, you feel me? Say my name, I'm coming, nigga coming to you. Make you, you stand me? on that shit. Any like I can, man. I'm coming up, I'm pulling up. You feel me? I ain't doing no rap beef, and I ain't finna diss you on no songs or make no, you feel me? Straight up. And mind you, he don't play, he, he's not from my hood, he's not nothing, but he don't play by me. You feel me? Same with him, same with him, bro. What type of strange comment was that? Let me re remind you, he's not from my hood. He's not from my hood, but they don't play about me. Y'all just met, homie. Y'all just met. What do you mean they don't play about you? Y'all don't even know each other, fool. What are you talking about? <laughs> they don't play about me. That sound a little strange, homie. But yeah, this dude really went on there just straight capping. You mean to tell me I called you a rat snitch, all this shit, and you didn't pull up on me, bro? And whoop on me and record it low and go viral like you was trying to do or get clout or get some interviews? Huh? Get the apartment footage then. Come on, come but why? It, it's crazy because I didn't did the other video. And even before this clip came out on no jumper, Instagram, I was going in on him, bro. Yeah, he couldn't take the pressure. He had to call Adam like, hey, you know, uh, I got this story. You know, I'm about to tell you up here. I called Milk 74 at his house, bro. Yeah, I made him delete videos. Adam, we're like, where's the footage at? I don't have any. Oh, you know, so you, you, you. You called him at his house. You know, it's a big apartment and they got people at the door. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> no way, Jose. That wouldn't have happened. It's just cat. It's just made up. It, it's crazy. But look, the other dude who was just saying he ain't into rap beef or nothing like that, bro. Look at this picture right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go against me. I'm the Gilligan Slayer, homie. But look, y'all got to let me know. And don't be no unsubscribed recurring viewer Gilligan. Hit the subscribe button right now. And I'll see y'all at the next video.